today i am going to discuss about multiple disc clutch or it is called as multiple plate clutch also here you can see the number of plates are used and so that it is called as multiple plate clutch so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management at the end of this video you will be able to understand classification of disc clutch next function of multiple plate clutch construction of multiple plate clutch working of multiple plate clutch model of multiple plate clutch animation of multiple plate clutch and at last we will see advantages disadvantages and application of multiple plate clutch so let's see first of all the classification of the disc clutch or plate clutch basically it is divided in two type single plate clutch and multiple plate clutch and in this video we are going to focus on multiple plate clutch in single plate clutch only single plate is used and in case of multiple plate clutch number of plates are used so from this figure you can understand the single plate is used in case of single plate clutch and here you can see multiple plate are used in case of multiple plate clutch now start with the function of multiple plate clutch and here you can see number of clutch plates are used and the location of the multiple plate clutch is in between engine and gearbox a clutch is a mechanical device which is used to transmit rotating motion or torque from driving shaft to driven shaft such that the driven shaft may be started or stop at will here you can see without stopping the driving shaft by engaging and disengaging here you can see to facilitate gear shifting easily without noise and damage now in this video we are going to focus on multiple plate clutch here you can see the location of the clutch a multiple plate clutch is situated between the engine and the gearbox in this figure also you can understand this is the engine and this one is the gearbox and in between there is a clutch now construction of the multiple plate clutch flywheel transmit power from the driving shaft to the driven shaft and here you can see initial part is the flywheel and that is connected to the driving shaft so here you can see this one is the flywheel in this figure also you can see this one is the flywheel clutch plate sometimes it is called as the friction plates and here you can see the number of clutch plates are there are bolted to the flywheel having frictional lines at its outer surface pressure plates are mounted on a spline shaft here you can see these all are the pressure plates mounted on the spline shaft so that it can slide axially clutch springs here you can see is used to engage or disengage the clutch mechanism this is very simple figure you can use definitely in the examination now working of multiple plate clutch when the clutch pedal is pressed the clutch is said to be disengaged due to the pedal force sleeve moves to the right side this one is the sleeve can move to the right side no axial force is developed between friction and pressure plates that means between frictional disc and pressure plates so driving shaft rotates without transferring power to the driven shaft so here you can see the gaps are there so this is in the disengage position next when the clutch pedal is not pressed 
the clutch is said to be engaged. The force due to this spring will press the pressure plate to come into contact with friction plates and the power will be transmitted from the driving shaft to the driven shaft due to the friction between the plates. More images to understand the construction and working of the multiple plate clutch. Here you can see multiple plates are used and this is the exploded view so that you can easily understand the function and working. And here you can see in assembly multiple plates are used so that it is called as multiple plate clutch. More images. So definitely this is a very simple image and you can use it in the examination also. Now let's see the animation. This one is the pressure plate. This one is the flywheel and these are the multiple plates. Sometimes called as the friction plates. And with the help of the pedal you can give the input and so that you can engage and disengage the driving shaft and driven shaft. Now next advantages of the multiple plate clutch. Multi plates decrease the weight of the clutch. Multi plate clutch has a very compact size because of number of plates are used. It will transmit very high torque due to the more friction linings or the friction surface. It decreases the moment of inertia of the clutch. Now disadvantages. Multiplate clutches heat up quickly. They are heavy. They are too expensive. Now applications of multiple plate clutch. Multiplate clutches are used where compact construction is required like scooters, motorcycles and racing cars. The multiplate clutch is used in heavy commercial vehicles to transmit high torque. So when it is required to transmit high torque then definitely you can use multiple plate clutch. If you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my YouTube channel and go to playlist. Thanks my dear friends, press the like button to appreciate this video.